You may remember uh, Firebase has been griping at us the whole time, if we look at the database, that your security rules are defined as public, so anyone can steal, modify, or delete data in your database. We could at least make it so that you have to be signed in to do that thing. I assume we can. Let's learn more. Isn't that handy? Get started with database rules. Provides a flexible expression-based rules language with JavaScript-like syntax. Sweet. You can find and change the rules for your database in the Firebase console. Simply choose your project, click on database section on the left, then select the rules tab. Rules. Uh-oh. My, my internet connection suddenly stopped. Oh, what the heck's going on here? There we go. Okay. Big fat warning that they're public. Okay. Here's some sample rules. Uh, right now, we're public. Rules read always true, write always true. The default, which we chose not to use, is read auth not equal null, write auth not equal null. So that's how you at least require that people be signed in. So that seems like a good choice for right now. You can also actually use the user ID and check, check against like your endpoints. Um, we're not going to do that, at least not yet. Um, but let's at least switch back to you have to be logged in as somebody. So let's change read to quote auth not equal null and write to quote auth not equal null. This will be in the notes on the website. And don't forget, you can hit learn more to get to this. Here's, the, here's this page on the documentation. I'm making a special note of this because, of course, this is not going to be in my code on GitHub, right? Because this is in Firebase. So let's publish our changes to the rules. And let's see what happens to us. Nothing, everything's still fine. We're logged in, right? It makes it so that you have to be logged in as somebody in order to read or write anything from the database. Um, I have a console log in there somewhere still, don't I? Did I leave that in there? Yeah, I don't want that. OK, so I can still read things. I'm not sure I'm really ever signing out. I'm clearing things out of state to sign out, but we're not ever telling Firebase to sign us out, are we? OK, I'm going to go back to the docs here. I'm having trouble testing this. So let's go to the guides, authentication. Um, I don't know, manage users. OK, how do we sign out? Sign out, log out. Ah, this isn't managing users. So we did Google sign in. Uh, how about signing out? Sign out. Oh, here we go. To sign out a user, call sign out. <laughs> so firebase.auth, open close parens, dot sign out. So in app.js, when we sign out, we should probably actually call auth.signout. You dig? So let's see what happens. Auth is not defined. I didn't import it in this file. So let's import auth from dot slash base. And let me test something out here. I'm going to briefly uncomment my fake login form. Now when I sign out, I'm signing out of Firebase for real. So if I sign in as a fake person, I get no rooms. I get no messages. This person isn't allowed to read anything from our Firebase database now. So sync state, not working. Not allowed. I'm not logged in. Sign out. Sign in as a real user. Now I get messages. See? So our database rule worked.
Hmm. Okay. Um, what have I done since my last? I got rid of a console log and I actually signed out. Okay. Sign out from Firebase when signing out. All right, so I'm signed in. Check this out. Let's open up a new window. Let's go to localhost 3000. Still signed in, right? They both read them from local storage. That's how I'm able to say signed in when I refresh. Now let's sign out from here. This doesn't know I've signed out. Let's try to type a message. Firebase warning, failed, permission denied. So I'm signed out, but this window doesn't know I've signed out. So the way we know I'm still signed in when I refresh the page right now is I read it from local storage. I'm not getting that information from Firebase. Uh, so that seems less than ideal. So let's see if we can fix that.